Hi, my name is Miha Besko. I'm a remote worker here in Japan, and this is how I spend my day. Unlike other people living in Tokyo, Miho's mornings are pretty relaxed and less stressful. Trust me, taking a train during the rush hour in Tokyo is not a very pleasant experience. And because her job doesn't require her to follow a fixed schedule, she can wake up anytime she wants to, but every morning at 9, she does have an online meeting that she must attend. That is why she gets up around 8 in the morning to make sure she's wide awake by the time the meeting starts. Miho is into real estate investment. Since she's bilingual, she helps Japanese investors who are interested in properties other than Japan. Her responsibilities include consultation and holding seminars to help Japanese businessmen understand how investment works in other parts of the world. And today she's conducting an online seminar to help her clients who are interested in properties in the Philippines. Even she does remote work, she tries her best to look professional, especially when she has a meeting with high profile clients. In here, so I was wondering, like, what? When are you going to have your lunch? So actually, this is my brunch. What? Normally, I try to pay attention to my diet. Mm -hmm. So this month, I just participated to the beauty person, the international beauty contest in Italy, and now I'm getting some offers to join other contests like the China dress contest and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you now I some time like wear the dress and like check if I still fit in, and also check my walking stuff. Miho also told me that her job is task-oriented, which means her company doesn't care what other activities she's involved in until and unless she completes her job on the given deadline. That is why she's able to do many other things she loves doing. Remote work sounds good and I've tried it myself, and from personal experience, I know that it is very easy to get lazy and procrastinate. Let's ask Miho how she stays motivated and productive throughout the day. Participating in contests is one of my way to motivate myself to like stay healthy and fit. Mm -hmm. And also like I often join the walking lessons. It's a like group lesson. And I see like some other girls making so much effort in it as well. So it really like get like really inspired and motivated by my like classmates. During the highest peak of corona, Japan never had a lockdown as compared to other countries. They called it an emergency situation and the government requested people to stay home to which people complied and stayed home as much as possible. However, if you wanted to go out, you were free to do so. Things are getting back to normal in Japan now. At present, trains and roads are packed and almost everyone here in Japan goes to the workplace to work. Luckily, Miho continues to work from home. Miho told me that because it saves her a lot of time from commuting to work, she has also started working on her forgotten hobbies. That is why she has joined a window orchestra and today she also has her band rehearsal. Alright guys, so while she's on the bus, there's something you might want to know. If you're planning on visiting Japan this year, especially for a short period of time, I would highly recommend you to get the Sika card. Uh, it is like a prepaid card that you can use on buses, trains, taxis, convenience stores, you name it. Because you know like buying tickets each time is so much time consuming, such a hassle. It saves you so much time and the best part is that you won't be collecting tons of coins in your pocket when you're going back. On top of that, you can keep it as your own personal souvenir and whenever you visit Japan again, you can always use that. So, highly recommend it. Hey,
Miho and her band members meet up at a bunka center for band rehearsal. The literal translation for the word bunka is culture. It is a space provided by the government for the locals to hold various activities. Different clubs like dance groups, karate club, music bands, just like Miho's and others could rent spaces here to practice and organize performances. Miho told me that renting a hall or room here is way cheaper as compared to renting a private studio. <laughs> Okay, so it's 8 o'clock and Miho told me that they are going to end their practice at 9. Um, so while they're practicing, you know, uh, uh, earlier I was talking about Bunka Center or Culture Center. In case if you're moving to Japan for a longer period of time, let's say study or, you know, start working here. Um, and let's say you move to a place that doesn't have a big international community. Um, I would suggest you to pay a visit to these culture centers because they have a lot of clubs going on where you can, you know, can learn guitar or karate or other things that you are interested in. But the best part is that you can meet the locals where you can, you know, uh, practice your Japanese language. You can learn the culture, how people do things, you know, the small things that you do not learn at school. So give it a try. After their practice, Miho told me that she wanted to have dinner with her friend who is also in the band, but other members also decided to join. I guess after three hours of practice, they all were hungry and needed something to eat. They went to a local izakai and I wanted to film the inside and show you guys around, but because of other customers, I couldn't. Well guys, that was Miho's day. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And Miho told me that right after uh, the dinner, she will directly go home because she's totally beat. Let me know if there was something interesting about her day. Do let me know that in the comment section below. And in case if you're interested uh, in getting to know more about her, I'll put her Instagram in the description box below for you to directly contact her. And please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, smile. Peace.